friends welcome to this online series of lectures on industry 4.0 so in this lecture we are going to learn about internet of robotic things cloud robotics as well as collaborative robotics so let's start so we will start with the internet of robotic things we will introduce this new term called iort internet of robotic things then we will look into the cloud robotics the concept of cloud robotics and the framework for the cloud robotics then we will also look for the cyber physical system what is cyber physical system formal definition and then we will look into the architecture of cyber physical system which is 5c and finally we will explore the idea of collaborative robotics so let's start we already uh, discussed about the technological components of advanced robotics starting with the artificial intelligence then we have advanced sensing technologies we have covered these two topics now in this session we will focus on the internet of robotic things cloud robotics collaborative robotics as well as the cyber physical system architecture so here if you see the venn diagram of three technologies of industry 4.0 starting with the robotics we have all this characteristics written here uh, pertaining to the robotics and then we also have the internet of things which we discussed in the previous lectures when you merge these two technologies the intersection point is the internet of robotic things it means that you create a world uh, out of both the uh, benefits of both the um, areas or the fields where you apply some of the good things about these two areas you will so internet of robotic things is the merging of the robotics as well as the internet of things so moving further we have cloud robotics now cloud robotics again is the merging of the robotics as well as the cloud computing technology when you merge these two technologies some of the characteristics uh, they behave as so some of the character so let's look into the venn diagram of different technologies here of the industry 4.0 so starting with the robotics here the characteristics of the robotics are given starting with the configurability adaptability motion perceptions all are the characteristics of the robotics also we have internet of things which we discussed in the previous lectures where we have networking capabilities there internet connectivity is there all of these connections uh, or you can say the characteristics they both combine with the robotics to create the internet of robotic things we also have the cloud computing technology where we have this virtualization uh, techniques are there elasticity is there tenancy is there all this characteristics also merge with the robotics to create the cloud computing or you can say the cloud robotics so let's look into the internet of robotic things so formal definition uh, says that it is the technology where the intelligent devices gathers the data with the help of this sensing technology right all the sensors uh, are used to gather the data so that this intelligent devices can manipulate the object in the physical world right and this intelligent devices can move within the physical space as well let me give you an example here a robotic device is given here which sense which get the data from the sensors now these sensors are the uh, sensors which gathers the uh, glucose or you can say uh, glucose data from the patient right and again the patient profile is also being gathered from this computer now based on the intelligent uh, decisions uh, and analytics this robot can provide the feedback to this patient and actual medical uh, robots can also provide the accurate decisions you can say or you can say the feedback to the patient based on this analytical data so that is the application of internet of robotic things so let's look further into cloud robotics so in cloud robotics you have the convergence of two technologies convergence in the sense you have robotic system here and as well as the computing power of the cloud technologies now when you combine these two powers or you can say the capabilities you have the cloud robotics for example here in the warehouse robots these warehouse robots can uh, perform the various tasks just by moving this warehouse racks from one place to another without any human interventions all this uh, computing capabilities in being performed with the help of this cloud technology 
right some of the other areas of applications if you see here drones right autonomous cars warehouse robots industrial robots all of these are some of the area of applications for the cloud robotics moving further here it is a simple uh, application area is given where you have industrial robot where all the ev system evaluation criteria like dh parameters joint angles velocity acceleration profile is being fed to the local server here from this physical resources of the industrial robot right from there it is uh, fed to the cloud computing technology or you can say the cloud where you have the forward and inverse kinematic analysis of this industrial robot based on this uh, analysis for this energy consumption you have the smart algorithms for this optimized performance for the industrial robot which are being fed directly again to the industrial robot so that they can perform efficiently so in this way the efficient working of the industrial robot can be uh, achieved with the help of cloud computing so this is the power of cloud computing as well as the robotic or hence you can say cloud robotics now let's look into the another concept called cyber physical system which has another name of industry 4.0 where you have the integration of physical processes computation as well as the network now three areas are being integrated to to form the cyber physical system here if you see the embedded technologies embedded computers right here if you see this uh, diagram here actuator sensors comprises of the physical components where they create the loop from this computational networks so that they can control the physical processes with the help of sensors and the actuators right and this loop is created right so this again you have the cyber components in the form of computational networks and physical components in the form of actuators sensors embedded systems so together they form this cyber physical system now let's look into the architecture of or you can say 5c architecture of cyber physical systems starting with the connection where you have different connections with the help of actuators and sensors to get the data from data you will go uh, you will convert that data into the useful information and doing the data analytics moving further you have the cyber level where you have the digital copies of the uh, physical uh, objects where you can easily create the virtual copies thereby you can here have the time machines time machines so that you can have this variation identification what do you mean by that let's say for example you have a motor and you are creating a digital copy of that in the cloud right by the by once you are creating the digital copy you can also check the variations whatever the parameters you are logging in and you are monitoring you can also find out the uh, variations within these parameters by creating this kind of virtual copies in cognition level you have the decentralized uh, decision making as well as <coughs> uh, diagnostics with the help of this kind of data in the cyber level so that machines can think on adjust with the on their own so that is our last and that is the configuration level the last c level which is the configuration level where the machines can self adjust self optimize right and you can say the self configure based on whatever the conditions are there based on whatever the analytics of uh, figures which are being fed back to the actual world or you can say actual object in the physical world so this is rather a loop created where the data is being fed from the sensors to the virtual world or you can say cloud and from cloud the optimized decision making is being fed to the devices so this is the formal architecture of the cyber physical system now let's look into the collaborative robotics or you can say cobots in short form where these robots share the space with workers so that they can work collaboratively and it helps human workers in their uh, work or you can say performing their task efficiently this is nothing but the collaborative robotics let's look into the different levels of collaborative robotics what are the levels of collaborations when we are talking about the assembly lines for example when worker as well as the robot both are working so starting with the first level where you have fencing available for the robots so they can work together but there is a fencing they can work independently right with the fence around the robots that is the first case or the first level of collaboration 
Then we have the most popular or you can say most used collaborations where on the left hand side you have the coexistence of the robots or you can say robots as well as the human. They both work without any fence but they work independently. Right? In another case we have sequential operations right, or sequential collaborations where they work in sequence without any fences. Right? They also share the workspace if you see here they share the workspace here. There are no boundaries here. Right now in next cooperation, uh, next type of collaborations, we have cooperations where they cooperate in, uh, you can say, sequentially as well as they have movements as well. Right. If you see here, they have simultaneous movement as well as they cooperate and share the workspace here collaborating. And finally, we have responsive uh, collaborations where this robot is following the movements of this worker in real time. That is the final level of collaborations available from the cobots, which are the collaborative robots. So that's all from today's lecture. In this lecture, we discussed about some new technological components of Industry 4.0 or you can say the advanced uh, advances in robotics or you can say the technological components of advanced robotics starting with the ai and advanced sensing technologies which we discussed in the previous lecture in this lecture we focused on the internet of robotic things cloud robotics and collaborative robotics we also touched upon this cyber physical system formal definition of cyber physical system and the architecture of cyber physical system. That's all for today. Thank you very much.